June is National Candy Month, and a recent survey from the National Confectioners Association revealed Americans' top treats for the summer. Here to discuss is Carly Schildhouse. Hi, Carly. She is the spokesperson for the National Confectioners Association. Hi, thank you so much for having me, and happy National Candy Month. Absolutely. I'm a huge fan of this topic. We were just talking about our favorites off camera, so uh, I'm excited to get into it. So Carly, what are the top summer treats and flavors? I'm so glad you asked because we did the hard and important research, so you don't have to. We found out Americans' favorite flavors and treats for summer. For flavors, red fruits are so popular. Cherry, strawberry, and watermelon are the top three. And then in terms of treats, number one, probably not a surprise, is chocolate. I know when I think about chocolate in the summer, I'm thinking s'mores. Second up is gummy candy, so all those red fruit flavors in gummy form. And then rounding out the top three might be a little bit of a surprise. It's taffy, which is just such a perfect summer boardwalk treat for the whole season. That sounds amazing. I know that chocolate is my favorite year round. <laughs> So what were the top trends coming out of the Sweets and Snacks Expo? So we just had the Sweets and Snacks Expo. It is the center of the candy and snack universe. And it's where we get to see so much of the innovation that is at the heart of the candy industry on display right alongside all of our classic nostalgic favorites. So the trends coming out of the show are really exciting. One is flavor mashups, so different flavors that you might not expect to be together in the same treat, working together in the same product. A lot of brand collaborations, so brands coming together to create something brand new, really innovative, really exciting. Um, just a couple of examples, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Stuffed Puffs and Dr. Pepper Peeps. We also saw a lot of really interactive treats that are perfect for social media sharing. So people looking for permission to play with their food. Um, they also then want to share that experience with friends and family. And a perfect example of it is a recordable lollipop where you can record a message to somebody, give them that lollipop, and then as they're enjoying it, they can hear the message that you've recorded for them. So a cool combination of technology and innovation. And then rounding out the trends is package size options. So as people treat, whether they're enjoying a treat for themselves or sharing with friends and family, they want options and our companies are meeting consumers where they want to be met. All of that sounds so exciting, especially those uh, mashups and the recording uh, lollipops. How fun is that? Um, can you tell us the connection between candy and emotional well-being? You know, chocolate and candy just have this really unique ability to brighten moods and lighten perspectives and enhance occasions, really make any ordinary day extraordinary. At the same time, people understand that chocolate and candy are treats. So in the US, people enjoy them about two to three times per week, averaging just 40 calories and one teaspoon of added sugar per day. And as people are looking to self-care or you know, treating others, they understand that they are exactly that, treats. That is so wonderful. So how are people planning to incorporate candy into their summer plans? My gosh, every activity that you can do in the summer can be enhanced by chocolate and candy. So whether you're headed to a barbecue, the pool, the beach, a Taylor Swift concert, a Stanley Cup final game, whatever you're doing, chocolate and candy can help enhance that experience. Thank you so much for joining us today and telling us all about candy, a very exciting topic going on this month. We appreciate the, the information and we are certainly going to get our candy on this month and probably all summer long. So for more information, visit nationalcandymonth.com.